It's still Christmas time, and uh, one of the things that I get asked a lot to make from my friends is um, uh, for stocking stuffers is uh, stands for iPads, iPhones, uh, remote controls, telephones, anything like this. Uh, something fast, something simple, something that can just go in the stocking, and that's it. So uh, I've got an iPad here, and uh, these stands are literally only limited by your imagination. There are many different ways of doing it. I want to show you a few ways that I've done it, uh, what I like and what I don't like about each one, what my favorites one are. And um, you can use hardwood, softwood, you can laminate different woods together. It's just incredible the amount of stands that are out there. So I want to show you how I do it. I've got a piece of cherry here, uh, red one side. As I say, there's no right way and wrong way of doing this. Um, I'm just going to start with a block of wood. So I'm going to uh, just place it here and cut one side uh, square. And then I'll slide it over to my stop block, which I made five inches from the uh, blade. And I'm going to cut a five by five inch block. I have a one quarter inch round over bit just to get rid of some of the sharp edges. The next thing to do is to cut a slot. We're going to go with the grain. We're going to cut a slot that may be three eighths of an inch wide uh, in order to put the iPad in. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can either use a dado blade, which will cut one groove in one pass. Very simple, very quick. The problem is with that is, for instance, if I took a wide blade and I put it here, you'll see that the blade is at a 90 degree angle and that is how it's going to be to be made. Some people like that, some people don't. They want the bottom of the groove to be in the same plane as the bottom of the block. So now you're going to have to use a thin blade and make several cuts all the way back in order to keep the bottom of the cut uh, parallel with the bottom of the board. We'll do it in both ways in this case. For me, a 17 degree angle is good for the iPad. My iPad is about 3 8 of an inch thick. I want the slot to go down about a quarter of an inch and that way I can still reach my home button if I need to. So you can see on the slot uh, with the thin blade making several passes you keep the bottom of the slot parallel with the bottom of the block. Um, I find that it's a quarter inch deep, works very well to hold the iPad up and you can even still reach the home button. Five inches across is a good width. I don't want it any wider than that. For this particular way, it works very well. But when you are using it this way and you want to type on the screen, then if it was narrower, uh, it could be a little bit unstable. Now, speaking of that, you can see here that this angle is good for uh, video chatting, uh, digital f uh, uh, photo album, uh, but it's not very good for typing. So uh, what I want to do is I want to angle it back about 40 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another slot on the back 40 degrees, the exact same way as this way. Well, there you have it. Simple square block of wood two uh, slots cut in it at different angles. Um, now you can put your iPad in at one angle. If you want the other, you simply turn the block around and put the iPad in at a steeper angle. Some people don't like this because they can see the second groove in the back. So what we can do is I cut another one out here where the groove is on the other side. So now when you have this in the block of wood, it appears that there's no groove at the top. If you want the other angle, you simply flip it over and you've got your shallow angle. If you also notice the two different types of cuts, this here is the dado blade in the bottom. Notice the 90 degree cut in the, uh, in the blade. And uh, this one up on top was a thinner curved blade cut multiple passes. This one's faster, uh, but some people like the bottom of the 
cut to be parallel with the bottom of the block. Even though this is one of my more popular brands, um, you're limited to two angles. In my case, 17 degrees and 40 degrees. Some people want to angle it a little more, a little less, or anywhere in between. So let me show you a quick way of uh, making one on the bandsaw that uh, will give you a little more angles. So as you can see, this simply fits on the back like this, and it pretty well goes from any angle. All you have to do is simply slide it down, and it will change to whatever angle you want. Sometimes what people also do is they'll have me go to the scroll saw and they'll write their, uh, their kid's name or Merry Christmas or something across the back. Uh, and it doesn't have to be square, uh, you can make it uh, tapered, uh, curved, uh, any shape you want. This, the backing isn't really all that important, it's just meant to hold the two ends together. Uh, the issue with this particular one is that it only goes one direction, it only goes landscape mode. You cannot put it this way because it's too long. So, um, so that works if you're using landscape mode most of the time. I'm going to put on some polyurethane finish. So I had some extra pieces of walnut uh, scraps. I uh, cut some notches in them and uh, put some finish on it. And um, I made some to hold my Harmony remote. Um, iPad, iPhone, the ideas are limitless. So as you can see, there's countless types of uh, stands you can make for any of your devices. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button below, and uh, it would really help me out a lot. I love doing videos, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.